What's going on? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey. Welcome to this week's segment of In the Kitchen with Crystal. I am Crystal Taylor, the owner of Fitness is Not a Game. I am your health and fitness coach who specializes in helping women over 40 lose weight without dieting or exercise for more than 30 minutes at a time. And I'm also a, 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 a connoisseur and enthusiast of food, and I want you to enjoy your food without uh, feeling bad about it and also stay on track and still making sure it's good. So y'all, my clients also call me water bully, so we're gonna drink some water. If you're here with me now, say hey, let me know that you're watching, let me know where you're watching from. If you are watching on the uh, on TikTok, the book, YouTube, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe, right? So what are we making today? Let me know if you have a sweet tooth. Or my people at, with a sweet tooth, love them some desserts. Right? You love you some desserts, but you hate how they make you look and feel after, right? And you feel bad about it. First of all, you're not supposed to look bad, feel bad. But this is for y'all. And it's for my people who don't like making a whole bunch, you know, because you feel like if you have an entire cake in the house, you won't eat the entire cake. So today we are making single serve mug cakes that are on the healthier side, right? We're making Three different flavors. We are going to make a carrot cake. We are going to make a snickerdoo. And we're going to make a chocolate chip gingerbread mug cake. So let me know which one you are ready for. Well, which one are you the most excited about? Because I already know which one I'm doing, right? So I'm going to start today with the chocolate chip gingerbread. Okay? And so I had to pick three mugs. Y'all, it was so much fun. I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I love mugs. I have a collection of mugs. So picking three was difficult, but I chose three that were represented, had to represent. So my first mug today is a mug from one of my retreats that I have with my clients every year. This is our retreat from fall 22. So we're using that for the gingerbread. So I will say this, for the recipes, there are some, oh my man, there's no water, some basic ingredients that's gonna go on all of them. So let me pull it over. And I tell y'all, I get recipes, <laughs> whether I follow them exactly or not, but I like them. Not. I make them how I want to make them. So we get two bowls because just like with any type of bacon, we're going to have a bowl for our dry mixtures. We're going to have a bowl for our wet mixtures, right? So since we are doing chocolate chip gingerbread, what do we need? Of course, we need some chocolate chips. We're using mini chocolate chips. We're going to use ground ginger. Mm -mm -mm. What else we got? Oh, so I'm using, I think this is my flour. I never remember. Yeah, this is flour. <laughs> We're using flour. You can choose whatever flour you want. I'm going to say, when I find recipes, I find them for, and I use them for inspiration. I'm going to make them how I want to make them, right? They talk about whole wheat, just ginger, I mean, gluten free. You can do that if you want to. I'm using red, right? Uh, of course, we need baking powder. We need cinnamon. We don't do nothing without cinnamon, especially when we're baking. With baking, y'all, we also need salt. I use natural kosher uh, sea salt. I said kosher sea salt because the salt actually helps to bring out the sweetness. And then what else we got? We got milk. I'm put this right here. We got Greek yogurt and this creaminess, protein, all that good stuff. And then it said molasses, but I'm gonna use a little honey because I ain't got no molasses. And then, oh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And then said, oh, and vanilla, 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 vanilla. How can you make without? So we are going to start with our dry. You know what? Let me bring this on over here to make it a little bit easy for me to see it so I don't have to turn in my back. I feel like that's rude. I feel like that's rude. So we're going to start with three tablespoons of flour. If y'all are baking, y'all know what I'm about to do to make sure it's about right. Like when I'm baking, sometimes that's like the only time I like to be exact. <laughs> Other than that, I go until the ancestors tell me not to. But with baking, I try to be exact. And I don't want to do heat now. You miss, we're going to keep this here because everything will have a base of flour, right? We are going to use, what does that say? An eighth of a teaspoon. That's pretty tiny. That's tiny. I mean, do I have an eighth? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going 
gonna put this eighth of a teaspoon in here. And again, leveling off to make sure we got dang it, and make sure we got the right amount. Okay, to that. Keep that close because we're gonna use a lot of this. <laughs> These things I may as well just keep on the table, right? Then we gonna have a ginger. Mm, mm. Y'all, if you don't have brown ginger, get you some. Get you some in your life. We're gonna do an eighth of that as well. Mm, mm, mm. I'm excited. You're not gonna use this anymore, so I can put that to the back. Then let's see, cinnamon. They talking about a sixteenth of a teaspoon. What that is? So you know what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some in here to my ancestors. I know I just talked about being specific, but I'm gonna go here to my ancestors. Tell me, there we go. I just like for a cup. To cover. So when I tell y'all, let me some cinnamon. So if y'all curious, that's how much I put in there. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, let me close that outside. Then, oh, child. Oh, child. I'm losing y'all on the screen. I want to make sure I see y'all. All right. Uh, let's see what else you're right. Salt. Again, it says a 16th of a tablespoon. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to say that's like a, a good, generous paint. Okay, I ain't going to throw all of them. Get some good luck there. Then that's all of our so let me stir this together. Mix that on up. Actually it's supposed to be whisking it. I'm gonna show y'all what I like to do too when I bake. Learned from my mom and I can't stop doing it. And to me it just helps. Alright, and that's that. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm about to do. Y'all, excuse me. Wait a minute. I gotta go in the cabinet. I ain't done it in a while. Ah, wait a minute. Let me get down here in this cabinet. Got me the baker. Y'all got to sit through right. So I'm just gonna transfer the dry to another bowl. And I like to sift my powder, my dry mix, because what it does is it break up, breaks up those clumps, makes it bake more evenly and it makes it fluffy all right makes it light y'all see that mix it all up together do it on all so that's what i'm gonna have to do for the next all right so now for our dry mixture we're gonna use that put this back put that back here i mean that was dry for our white we are going to use you can use coconut oil or you can use melted butter i like coconut oil and i definitely like unrefined for things like this because it adds a little oh. up. <laughs> coconut oil, oh, there we go. Woo! This is the whole thing. When that coconut oil get up in the doggone grooves, cha, 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 cha. We're going to use a quarter teaspoon. Oh, I swear. If I tell you, I can't stay when I got to go ask my kids or my husband to open the coconut oil. Oh. They be laughing at me. I'm like, man, I don't know. But the trick is, I run in front of some water. Let me get a napkin. Let me get a napkin for this. I don't want that on the table. Oh, my song is gone. I'm baby. Hey. All right. So, we're going to get us a tablespoon of Greek yogurt. And I'm just using non fat plain yogurt. It's no need. If you want to add extra flavor, you can. You can get the vanilla if you want to, but the plain works just fine. And we're gonna get us a tablespoon, but we don't, I don't feel we need to, uh, so we're gonna use that regular tablespoon measuring spoon. Uh -oh, measuring spoon a lot, so ain't no need to get all that. So I'm just gonna give me a good old regular tablespoon. But they ain't always have measuring spoons, y'all. We're gonna use that tablespoon so we can stir it in. Anyway. May as well keep that right there. We're gonna use that a lot. Put that back here. Then, let's see. We got milk. And I'm using, now for this, I am using uh, an unsweetened vanilla milk, almond milk. You can use whatever milk you like. But again, we're trying to make the healthier version of this. That's why I got the unsweetened. And because we're baking, I'm using the vanilla. All right. So it's a tablespoon and a half. So I'm going to use these. Half tablespoons. That's half teaspoon. Where's my half tablespoon? I don't know. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it just jumped 
in there. I was like, what? Oh, it's hard to measure down go tablespoon of milk. All right, fine. Fine. We got milk in there. So that's either going to be good or make it rain. I don't know. But guess what? It's in there. All right. So let's see. Wet, 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 wet. Oh, vanilla and honey. So half teaspoon. Half teaspoon of this. I tell y'all, my dog going to measure stuff. It just be disappearing. But we going to, oh. Let me show y'all a trick. Don't say trick. Whenever you're using honey to measure out, spray it with a little nonstick spray. It helps it to come out fast. And so if we're gonna put a little nonstick spray in this mug, I'm gonna do it over that. All right. So we're gonna do half a teaspoon of honey. So then watch how easily it comes out of this. See that? Bam. Went straight out and it's not stuck in there. I love that little trick. And then we are also going to do, it says a half to quarter teaspoon of vanilla. But I'll tell you, the recipe was calling for all types of weird vanilla, stevia, some, some, some. So I'm going to do half a teaspoon and a little extra because why not? And then I think that's it for our wet. We're going to stir this on up. I right, said so I don't know how that's supposed to look, especially since I put all that milk up in there. But sounding good to me so far. So far it is. So now we're just gonna, just like any other bacon, we're gonna stir the dry mixture into the wet, about a tablespoon at a time. Smells good. Mm -hmm. I sure do like it so far. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Yeah, I'm glad I put that milk in it where I did because it's not looking too, too runny. It's actually starting to look a little thick. All right. I'm going to stir a little bit in there. Stir a little bit in there. All right. And y'all, I tell y'all, I became a fan. Okay, look. Might feel better. I became a fan of like single mug cakes a while ago. So I like brownies. And I found a recipe for a German chocolate single serve protein mug uh, brownie. Y'all, it was so darn good. So I didn't forget the chocolate chip. I did. I'm going to go ahead and spray down my mug, my retreat mug. All right. Spray, spray, spray. So that it doesn't stir. All right, oh, put some chocolate chips in there. You ask me how much. Mm. <clears throat> but don't y'all overload it, right? We just want to be essence. So I measured in my hand so I get an idea. That's all. That's all we need because we're going to top it with chocolate chip too, y'all. That's why I didn't put too, too much in there. You ask me what it looks like about that much, right? So now let's put this in here. Come on, Arsha. You better sing it. I don't know your name. It probably won't matter tonight. You've been all on me. <laughs> Look. All right. Put that up in now. Put that up in there. Then we're going to sprinkle it. Sprinkle. Oh, that smells good. We're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of chocolate sugar. Then we're going to throw the thing in the mouth. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I don't know where it went because I ain't here. Drop, drop, drop. Drop, drop, drop. Bam. We're going to put this in the microwave for two minutes. Let's see, 40 seconds. But the key is, is to also make sure that you don't cook it on hot. You want to cook it on 30% to allow it to cook at a slower rate to actually get through it all. Because if you cook it too high, um, it can like crust up on the outside and make it really tough, right? Time cook, 240. Bam. Power is three. There we go. Bam. That one's done. Let's ranch this out real quick. And we are up next. Y'all ready? Y'all excited? We about to go on to the carrot cake. While that's cooking, we're going to make number two. Somebody type a two in the comments for me. Drop a carrot emoji. Mm -hmm. All right. Bam. 
put these away. Keep this handy. Light it out the way. And the mug for the carrot cake. Yeah. God, I told y'all I'm representing all day. Mm. Team Capricorn. Where my Capricorns at? Where are my Capricorns at? You see it. Wait a minute. Do the talk see it? You see it. Drink some water. Mm, mm, mm. Now because we're making carrot cake, what do we need? Some carrots. <laughs> carrots. We only gonna use like two tablespoons, right? And we're gonna freshly grate it as opposed to um, like getting store bought because you don't want their grated, their grated is like real thick. There's a shred. We need to grate it, right? Gonna use one pack of stevia for some sweetness. What else? Oh, oh I need my cutting board. Got my grater and my shredder. I need to make some room. Make some room, sis. I should put it in the spot where I ain't gonna have to move it again, huh? <laughs> oh, all the things. Mm, mm, mm. Hold, please. <laughs> all right, because we're gonna have to get that out in a second. All right, uh, let's see. So we know we're gonna need some carrots. So let me go ahead and grate this down. Like I said, we're only doing two tablespoons. Hey, Tom. Um, so you don't need a lot, but you notice that when you get to shred, it's like, man, Shredding for a long time, but I ain't getting a lot from it, right? But it don't work. All right. Child. Look, face me that job. It's just a little shredder, but I still don't want that thing on my toes. Let's see. Give me some finely grated carrots. And then, oh, that smells good. And look, y'all, it's ready already. So you want it to hang out in the microwave for about two minutes to allow it to finish cooking in the middle so that it's not all ooey and gooey and you like, yeah. Yeah, that's said carrot cake's your favorite. Look, I'm excited. I don't know which one is my favorite yet because I love me some carrot cake. Oh, child. Oh, especially if I can get some carrot cake muffins. Oh, that ain't even coming out. <laughs> Look. This is thing. Maybe I should have graded on the other side. Let me try. Look at that. I did all that grading. And that's all I got. But it's going to be nice and fine. So I'm going to keep it using this side. Mm -hmm. All right. Talk to you while I do it. So, again, with this one, we're going to use our flour. We're going to use uh, some cinnamon. We're going to use our baking powder. We're going to use our salt. We're going to use our coconut oil. So a lot of these, that's the great thing about these three ingredients. You see, I mean, three recipes, three cakes. They use a lot of the same ingredients, and the only thing that's really changing is the flavor, right? We're using Greek yogurt. That might be how many carrots we need? Two teaspoons. Oh, no, two tablespoons. I'm about to say two teaspoons. What's that? So we basically about to grate this thing all the way down. Who would have thought that a whole carrot would only be two tablespoons? Y'all get hot. This is like a whole workout. Goodness. Be careful with the knuckles. I hit my knuckles before and grated my knuckles on this thing. That's not fun. That's not fun. Let's see. I think we about done. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That actually looks delicious. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a story so funny. Oh, uh, my younger son was about seven or eight. One year for Christmas. Guess what? I, okay, that's a, that's a lyric at this time. Get it out. <laughs> when he was like eight years old, he asked for a doggone um, juicer for Christmas. Huh. First thing he wants to make was some carrot juice. Not excited about carrot juice, but y'all are so good and so sweet. Hallelujah, blessed be. All right, we're about to get this dry together. I'm going to be smart this time. And I'm put everything in the sifter. You can scoop this to the side as I need it. All right. Oh, I'm like, what am I doing? What is I'm doing? Three tablespoons again. Hey. All right, three tablespoons of that. 
same thing. Oh, this time we are going to use a packet of stevia for the sweetness. It says, look, three eighths of a dollar bone teaspoon. We're measuring that. Let me use a pack. We're making it easy, y'all. We're going to do an eighth, same eighth of a teaspoon of bacon powder. There we go. We're going to do the cinnamon. It's talking about, oh, eighth of, what is that, eighth? I ain't mad at that. Oh, let's see. Well, no, you want to get in the morning? Look here. I can do that. Let's see. Eighth of that. Eight. I know I need this again. Put that right here. Then we're going to see what else. Oh, uh, our salt. Another pinch. Generous pinch. All right. Then, that's it. Sit that up for the dry. My mommy, my mommy would be very proud right now. And actually, y'all, I got this sister part my mom. My mama's been gone now for now 13 years. Time is not good. But I'm grateful for all the things I got from her. Right then, with the uh, wet coconut oil, says a quarter of a teaspoon. I mean, quarter of a tablespoon. Now, where'd it go? If I say quarter of a tablespoon, teaspoon, I'm like, what? What is this one? Chow, 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 chow. Mm -hmm. And it's so crazy because let's see. 20 minutes here. We got one done, another one coming. But think about it. If this was just you at home making it, within like five minutes, you would have it all done. You would be sitting there talking like I'm talking. And I'm, I'm yappy. Let's see. A uh, tablespoon of Greek yogurt again. Oh, shoot. Why y'all ain't telling me I put that in the wrong thing? <laughs> I put that in, in the dog hole. Um, they said a tablespoon. We're going to do a three of these. I'll put that in the clip. We're going to dry. That'll be all right. That'll be all right. That'll be all right. Everything ain't perfect. They told me this tablespoon and a half of milk again. We're going we gonna to see about it. Let's see. I'm going I'm to pour real slow. That's about it. There we go. That's about it. That's about it. You better sing it, Sarah. All right. Uh, let's see. Then we got milk. Stevie, of course, quarter of a teaspoon. Oh, actually, I'm going to do a half again because, again, they talked all that crazy extract stuff. I'm coming, microwave. Look here, my appliances are bullies. Boy, they make so many doggone noises. They be like, I know you hear me. It's like, oh, what's that? I'm going to get you sucker. Close the door. That's how my doggone microwave is. <laughs> ah! ah! All right, and then let's see, let's sit on that. Gonna stir that up. And we're gonna gradually add this dry mixture in here. Stirring, stirring, stirring. All right. I need to grab this. Uh, what was that I put in there? Coconut oil. <laughs> and like I said, you can use butter if you want to. I just like coconut oil. All right. Looks a little dry, but. We gotta add our carrots too. I'm gonna add a little moisture. Oh, they moist. Oh, they real moist. Yeah, I have a friend who absolutely hates that word. And of course, what do I do? Say it as much as I can. Moist. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah. I forgot we gotta make a drizzle for this. Because it's candy cake. I don't know if I'm making it All right. That's nice and thick. These batters don't be playing. Did I add anything I'm supposed to? Mmm. Okay, we're going to see about it. We're going to see about it. Of course, we're going to spray this thing down. My Capricorn mug. Stir these on up in here. Let me pour it up in there. And with this one, we are going to bake 
I'm eating the microwave for three minutes and five seconds. That's what I'm just cooking. Swap out. But again, we're going to be at 30 seconds. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Y'all see it? Uh oh. Hold on. I'm cooked. 305. I will love it. 30. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? The single serve. So cute. That's first. All right. Now we're moving on to the last one, y'all. Three of them. Real quick. So, like, I decided to do three to give y'all an option. Right? And what they cook so quickly, why not? Because everybody got, you know, like, when I ask, like, which one do you want to see? Which one are you excited about? Everybody says I'm different. And I gotta say, I was surprised nobody voted for the snickerdoodle. Everybody was like, gin, chocolate chip, ginger, carrot. Well, I like all of them, honestly. But I love me some snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodles for me, you know, bring about so much nostalgia. Um, so that's what I'm doing that one last because uh, this is today's a good day, yeah. Yeah, it is. And today, for my snickerdoodle mug cake, I have a very special mug. Today's mug It's my mommy. My mommy used to make snickerdoodles with us. Did y'all see my mommy love butterflies? Um, my sister made this mug for me, pictures of my mommy. So today we're gonna make snickerdoodle. My mama loves this. Let's drink some water. Sorry y'all, I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> So, same basis, flour, baking powder, we're going to use some stevia, we're going to have some, use some salt, uh, of course we need cinnamon, vanilla, all the things, right? Woo! All right. So, doing our drive. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to get my life. I promise I'm going to get my life. <laughs> I promise I'm going to get my life. Three tablespoons of the flour. Didn't expect that at all. <laughs> all right. Now we're done with that, so now I can make some room on my table. All right. Three tablespoons of that. We are going to use a packet of stevia. Of course, we're putting everything in the center. And again, with the microwave. Get us done. Let that sit for two minutes to allow it to keep cooking. All right. We're going to use that eight teaspoon of baking powder. This out the way. It's great to be able to see everything off. Goodness. See, uh, cinnamon. It said what? How much you say? An eighth of a teaspoon? Lies. Don't go to my ancestors. Tell me not to. <laughs> that looks about right. Then we are going to do our salt, of course. And I think that's it for our dry. A good generous pinch. Up. I'm gonna sit that down. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna grab. That might have to. Oh, no. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop this too, right? All right. Nice and thick it. Ready to go. Now it's time for our wet ingredients. Wet ingredients are what? Our quarter teaspoon of coconut oil. And I'm gonna remember put it in a wet one this time. 
Put it in the wet one. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> really bad. All right. Tablespoon of Greek yogurt, of course. So we're just going to get a good even, even teaspoon. That out the way. I wonder if I'm supposed to use milk the last one. I was like, this one fits. Let me see. Was I supposed to or not? I was. Ah! Did I use it? I think I did. I did. I just didn't put a lot in there. All right. Uh, let's see. Greek yogurt. Uh, milk, of course, again. Let's see. How does milk? And that's what I should have done. When it looked a little thick, add a little more milk. Okay, that looks good. And we'll see. Because if I don't like the texture, I might just add some more, right? Uh, milk, vanilla. They keep talking about that A, but we add more. We add more. Bam. That's perfect. That's perfect. And then, and then. Now, this one, it talks about butter extract. I ain't got no butter extract, but if you got some, put in an eighth of it. And honestly, what I could have done is added a little bit of real butter. Why not? Why not? Because we can. Because, and that's the thing, y'all. Don't be afraid of butter. Butter itself is not bad. It's the fact because it's natural, right? If you're going to use anything, I would prefer you use real butter, right? But the problem is that sometimes folks get around butter and lose their minds. Let me know if that's you. So I'm just going to use a little slither because it said only an eighth of an extract. I mean, eighth of a teaspoon of extract. So we don't need a lot. So I'm just going to put a little sliver of butter in there. You can chop it if you want to. You can melt it if you want to. But I'm just going to use a little butter because don't feel bad. One, is natural. Two, we're using all of these other super healthy ingredients. So if you choose to add something that is full fat, that's fine. Yeah? All right. Uh, and then this dog of vanilla cream stuff, we already got that vanilla uh, stevia. All right, cool. Get all that. Mix it all up. We're going to stir this in here. We're going to stir this in here. I'm coming right away. I swear. I'm like, stop trying to bully me. I'm busy. Trust, I know you in there because I'm hungry, right? I didn't forget. And, out the way. and it is a little thick again. So I'm going to add a little milk. A little milk. There we go. Because I'm just choosing not to add all of these other extracts and all that stuff. I'm just going to use my good old vanilla extract and use me some stevia. And y'all, when it comes to sugar substitutes, I personally would suggest that if you use them, use something that's all natural. Like stevia. Stevia is a plant. All right? So don't feel bad about that. All that other stuff, ooh, I'll be scared. I'll be scared. All right. I'm going to spray this mug down. Spray this mug down. Let me know if y'all, where y'all from, mug can mean a whole bunch of things and people. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stir this in here. We are, uh, yeah, I almost put on my apron today. I was like, I'm baking. I should have on my apron. But I tell y'all, you know, I don't know what's so up. came on a little late. When I said I was having a
I'm going for the gin chocolate chip gingerbread first. I wish I had more ginger. A gingerbread. But I will say it's a little instead of it being a fluffy cake, it's a little chewy cake. But it's good. I like it. That's good. It's not as chewy as the oven. But it's good. I probably I'm tasting it now. Probably would have put a little bit of nutmeg in here. It's super carroty, so I will probably use a little less carrot, a little nutmeg. And I gotta say, like, honestly, next time I might use regular sugar, but I can taste the stevia. Thank you. I can get another mug. But. I could eat these. I could definitely eat them. They're good. Um, sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. But with that being said, if you try them, let me know. Tag me. Let me know how you played around with it. Um, what worked for you, what didn't work for you. Take pictures of your favorite mugs. Post them, let us sit in. All right? So, y'all have a good day, and I'll see y'all next time.